What's up everyone and welcome to another Fast Friday. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to change the color of any lights in any scene. It is so easy to do and honestly, it will give you a pretty unique look once you use it on your clips. So let's jump into it. If you guys enjoyed today's tutorial, please click that like button and answer this question. What camera are you shooting on? So hit the comments with the answer to that question and let's see who's shooting on what camera. So all you have to do is head to the color tab and head on down to HSL secondary. What you're going to do is actually select the light. So click the set color eyedropper tool. You can click the eyedropper right there and select a color. Now it won't really give you a great color at first. So click the plus sign and let's just click and drag around our light a little bit. That will expand our selection and you can click this button right here and that will toggle the gray area to see what our selection has has picked. Now you can control the hue, you can drag this out, the far one actually smooths it a little bit, and the top one actually controls what color it is selecting. So play around with the hue, increase the saturation a little bit, you may have to drag these around a little bit, but I found that playing around with the lightness will give you the best effect. Now I like to make sure that is selecting the entire image, and then I will play around with this ending one to smooth that out a little bit. I typically drag my denoise all the way up, and then I'll drag my blur up a little bit as well. Now if you uncheck that toggle right there, you can see the original image, and if you go to the corrections and start clicking and drag, you can see that we are changing the light itself. Now if you click a color, you can also come in here and manipulate this area right here to see what it's going to do to your image. For example, if we decrease our lightness, it will only affect those lights, but if we increase our total lightness, you can see that it is affecting our entire image. So now let's jump to this one real quick. As you can see, we only have one major light coming in from right here. So what we're going to do is again, set the color to that light. But as you can see, if we click the toggle right here and start changing it around, it doesn't really change anything. So this is when we're gonna hit the plus sign and let's just click and drag around here. And as you can see, it's starting to pick up more of our image. So this is another technique that I like to do if you reset it. I like to set the color to something vibrant right away and then click this plus sign and you can click and drag around here in the light and you can start to see what is happening to our image. This will help you start to manipulate it. So if you click and drag that saturation around, if you click and drag that lightness around, you can see how overall it is going to affect your entire image. It's a nice way to quickly and easily see what is going to happen to your image. So now that we got something that works, we can click and drag around here and easily and quickly change that light. Remember to keep playing around with the contrast and all of this stuff to get the desired effect that you want. Now, if you wanna create a strobe effect, all you have to do is go down here into your effects controls tab, open up HSL secondary and head on down to this correction right here create a keyframe, go forward a couple frames, change that, go forward a couple frames, change that, go forward a couple frames, change that, and get the idea. Just keep going forward a couple frames and then keep changing this around. And now if you play this back, it will actually create that strobe effect. And you can highlight all of these, hold Alt or Option on a Mac and copy those keyframes. So now if you play this back, you can see that we actually have that strobe effect. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's quick overview. And if you did, please click that like button and let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, subscribe if you're new because I'm gonna make some more stuff in the future. I'll see you next time.